So thanks for joining me tonight. Tonight I'm going to be painting a, a large abstract watercolour. I'll be showing you how to do that. Uh, and it's going to be a, a, a seascape and it's going to be of a photo that you can have a look at right now of um, when I was in Blackpool about a year ago actually over in the UK. Me and the family went and checked out the illuminations and then we were near the coast and there was just some beautiful, you can see there in that photo, the beautiful light reflecting off the ocean there. So as per usual for me, I just love those sort of skies and the light and the seascape and, and, and that sort of thing. So the sky is going to be a big portion of this. So this is roughly going to be where the, the horizon is across here. Uh, but the first step is, is for me to bring in a little bit of um, warmth into the painting. And it's pretty strong, but at the same time, I want it to be um, fairly subtle, I think. Oh, I think it look a bit jarring, so we'll just uh, see how this goes. So if you remember the, uh, the, the, if you remember the, the image, it's just, it's got some light here, and then it's coming out over here, and then this is blue here, and then a bit here. And coming up here and then coming down coming down and then a little bit more a little bit more down like that there we go I'm picking up some pigment off the bottom here it's not ideal but anyway I think that's probably enough I could probably pick up a little bit more Put a little bit in and probably put a little bit in a sideways motion. Beautiful. So now I'll just dry this because if I start trying to bring in the sky right now, like and I could, but it'll it'll mix with this. Whereas I want this just like the sky is, there's the light. Oh actually, before I do that, I just want to also bring in a little bit of cerulean blue. Because if you have a look at that picture right now, you can see that up in the top here, there's a little bit of very light sky. So we're just going to get a very watered down mix of uh, cerulean blue. So we're just going to bring that in up here. Just dry this. So I'm just going to get on with the, the next step, which I'm going to wet the whole thing and then. Uh, lovely. And bring in the clouds. So. Now I'm making sure my brush is not wet. I don't want water to explode onto the page, but I just want to 
bring in there's still a little bit of pigment on there. I probably could have got a little bit more pigment, a little bit wetter. You don't really want to take too long to do all of this because otherwise it won't be doing that beautiful diffusion process. So, um, so the, the first yellow that I used was um, Windsor Yellow and then I used Cerulean Blue and now I'm using a mix of Cobalt Blue and Light Red. And the other thing that I, I the other thing I could have done was um, I could have sprayed out this yellow here uh, and I still could try that potentially to create a pure white of the page here and that would look even brighter. So I'll just uh, I'll just dry this now, okay? So the, the next step we're gonna do is put in the, the ocean. So what I'm going to do is just bring in a bit of a removable tape. So this is 3M Magic Removable Tape and it's a thin version. So I'm gonna to have to put a few layers so I make sure I just don't get any paint up above. I could have done the same when I was painting above and I would have had a very crisp horizon. But yeah, that might have been a good idea in retrospect. But anyway. Uh, so I'm just pushing very, very hard down this bottom piece of tape, right on that bottom edge, to make sure it's just super strong. So I'm just gonna bring in the, the ocean now, and the ocean is a very interesting color in this photo. So just have a look at that photo again now, while well, I'm just trying to figure this out. And um, so I've got cobalt turquoise here, and then I'm going to add a bit of my mix of cobalt blue light red It almost needs to go a bit greener. I might even bring in a bit of um, raw umber. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. So I'll bring in a bit of raw umber. But it might just make it a bit um, muddy, but it's an interesting greeny color. It's getting pretty close actually. So I suppose I just experiment and then I get, I want a few different shades of that, if you know what I mean. So I kind of want to potentially have a bit of dark up here and even in places have a little bit more yellowy and then in other places a little bit more green. At the moment that's a bit too Two green steel. That's a bit better.
All right, let's go. We'll dry brush this thing. So I, I just look at the photo and I squint my eyes and I just work out where's dark, where's light, and really um, there's just lots of streams of light coming down here. But what I'm going to try and do is just potentially we'll see cover this and then spray it out here. We'll see if that works. I'm not really sure, but we'll see. All right, let's go. I'll try not to put too much there. Load it up again. Might just spray a bit. Just take the coverage a bit. Get a bit more of this, just darken it up a bit. And it was darker, a bit more dark here. And then we're going to get a bit more of this. A bit more of this. A bit more of this. Alright, hopefully you guys will see this. I'll just spray that and I'll spray it out here. Sorry, you probably can't see that, sorry. Keeping it tilted up, definitely 45, maybe even more than that. Continuing to let the water run, picking up the water right at the bottom. Letting the pigment run. Right up and down now. I might just uh, quickly dry this for a second. Alright, so we'll just take this, this tape off now. Just gonna have a quick look at this from a distance. Alright, I'm just going to do a bit of dry brushing. Feels a bit disconnected, even though the photo shows quite different colour sky, sky and, and sea, it feels a bit disconnected to me. So I'm just going to bring in some more sky colour uh, into, oh, almost running a bit short, into this as a dry brush. So. We'll just bring in a nice solid horizon and then we'll just see whether this works or not. Just get the spray bottle, we'll just spray a bit here.
I'm just going to take this up. Right, so I, th I, th I think I like that. I think that you know they, they talk to each other. So thanks for joining me tonight in how to paint a large abstract watercolor, and obviously this is a, a seascape. And um, I just like to say thanks to all my subscribers and for anyone watching. If you like these, uh, then you haven't already, then please press sub subscribe. And uh, and when you press subscribe, you can press the bell notification so you don't miss out on any videos that I post. And I will be posting gradually more. My, my aim is in the, the next couple of weeks to start posting definitely twice a week and to start making it a bit regular because I'm a bit inconsistent. So that's my plan in a couple of weeks time to uh, be a bit more consistent. And, uh, and yeah, so thanks very much and I'll see you in the next one. Right, good night. See ya.